All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, yeah, we're back. We're playing more Zelda because I want to play more Zelda, and that's all I got to say about that. I know that I did say Saturday, I think, or Sunday. Oh, no, it wasn't Saturday. It was Sunday. Then I wanted to stream, or like, a day after I, uh, or the next day after. But because of a whole bunch of things just uh, getting in the way, I couldn't. So, and then school uh, was Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, so... I really couldn't do as much as I wanted to do uh, with streaming and all that, but, you know. Okay, let's see here. Uh, oh, it's a blood moon already. Um, where can I find the lights? Here we go. Okay, so I have one light of blessing. And Tulin, an old map, which, right, that's, that's one thing I wanted to do. I'm going to let this play out first, and then I will uh, continue with stuff. And then I'll also call my horse so I can move around faster. of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. And now all monsters are back. Or at least all the monsters that I killed last time are back. Okay. Fancy to seeing you awake. It's late at night, even the monsters are sleeping. Uh. Oh, all of them are boarded right now? Huh. Um, I guess Epina, um, yeah, and then one thing I did want to do, thank you for waiting, this little one sure looks happy to go for a ride with you, should about wrap things up. Please take care and have a safe trip. Oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to check. How many Koroxy? Okay, only two. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so I got... So last time I did this tower, I went down here. Yeah, and I got these roots, and I... Yeah, and I tried to fight the Lionels, that's right. So I want to go here. I guess I could just teleport. Yeah, I'll just teleport. Sorry, Epina. Does it show the X on my mini map is the next question. Okay, so over here. So over here. There's a treasure marked by an old map that I found in a treasure chest 
Yeah, just over here. Daphne's Canyon Mine. Ooh. A lot of zonite. Oh no, this is just a boulder hammer. Eh. Cool. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll use one more bomb flower on these. Oh, that took care of the rest of it. Cool. Okay. Look at that, another bomb flower. Okay, so it says around here, or up there is the treasure. There's a cave here, which I don't think I've seen many caves in the depths, but uh, yeah, in the depths. So I kind of want to investigate this. Unless it Oh. It just ends here. Okay. Okay. It's a good amount more of zonite. Okay, let's climb up here and see what this treasure is. Oh, first off, get another bomb flower because I need those. Okay, so I could I could have found this. Ooh, a shirt featuring lamps of various sizes filled with bioluminescent material, made to help with like, excavating dark environments. Nice. So now I I just give off a bigger glow when I'm like in the dark. Cool. This will help when exploring the depths, like at least. Okay, but I want to keep that on for now. I think that's all that was around here. Other than all the zonite. Um, 
scope, and here's a couple more zonite uh, deposits. Or not deposits, but... You know. Yeah, I kind of figured that my boulder hammer would be very damaged by this point. Glad that it's lasted this long, though. At some point, I should I should probably also scavenge around the uh, depths for bomb flowers, since you need a lot of those when. Uh, when excavating. All right, well, that should be about everything that I wanted to do in the depths right now. Oh, they composed. Oh, why is that catching? Oh, and there's a Hinox. A corrupted Hinox. Don't know if I want to try and take that out yet. Oh, not those things. I also know that there are these, that the bargainer statues are around here and here, so I could also get go check those out if I really wanted to. Um, and then see what they're, what all they're offering up for the pose. Boulder, which I can attach to another weapon I have. Yeah, there we go. So now I have a another boulder hammer. In case I need it. Bomb flower. Some more pose. Some more pose. And then there's a huge collection of pose over there, so I'll collect that. Ooh, bomb flower, uh, puff shroom. Okay, and then this stuff over here, and that's everything, unless I want a thick stick. Bomb flower.
Okay, well, with that being said, I, I want to go back to the first light route. And, um, check and see if I can see the, uh, the Bargainer statue from where I am. So it'll be more over this way. Yes. Might be something over here, like a bomb flower. Like several bomb flowers. Heck yeah. Alright, so I'll get this post so these post souls. Oh that's corrupted too. Okay, so right down that way. And there is a light route over there. over this way. Come on, tool in a little faster. Yeah, over this way will be the Bargainer statue. Let's see, there's a light route over there, but I have to pass by some. Yeah, this, this partially lights up where I want to go, but uh, probably if you find like the pants and all that it it boosts it a lot more oh I wonder if these might be leading to where I need to go maybe Might be over where all those pose are. Okay, it might be better to go to the light route first and then go to where those poses pose are. So it might be a little easier to see. What is that? A frox. Oh, Jesus. Okay. 
Ooh, jeez. Getting away from that, please. Do not want to fight that until I have at least some visibility. Then I can skip this and it'll show the map. Connects all that. Yep. That is big. Hey, Derpy. Or Shadow, sorry. Very nice. Have you uh, played it at all? And how do you like it? Okay, so I don't have to go all the way over there. That's good. That's a lot of pose. You miss your bombs. Yeah. Pray. Oh, it's this entire thing. You stand before me, make an offering. Offer pose to me, spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. They are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander this land. I am one who returns all pose to the afterlife without prejudice. Good. Evil, that's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There is no such distinction in wandering spirits. I take it you have encountered my brethren. Stay a moment. My brethren and I have combined our power to create the tunic of the depths. If you desire it, you must make a suitable offering. I thought I already got the dark tunic. I do. Tunic of the depths. Ooh, gloom resistance. Some resistance. Interesting. Yeah, and the dark tunic doesn't do anything other than just making you look like Dark Link. But the tunic of the depths. And yeah, uh, the bombs are definitely a big thing, but considering how much uh, they have, like, uh, how, how much they have things, like, blocked off uh, by excavating and using the, the uh, boulder and rock weapons, it does make sense. At the same time, though, yeah, it, it definitely would be cool, uh, awesome if you could just make a bomb and then just make things. Or blow things up. to get all all the stuff that fell off of these guys is going to be a pain. It's 
there actually a light route over here? I'm sure that there is, but I don't see it at all. And then again, I am kind of in a valley, it looks like, so. How far have you gotten in TOTK? Oh, that might be where the light route is. I don't see the previous comment I see is I miss my bombs. So if if you had a comment in between Oh, there's there's a lot. Ah, all right. So you're still pretty early on in the game. But you're definitely taking a lot more time uh, in playing the game than, uh, than I am. Or leisurely taking your time, I guess I should say. <laughs> I say that while I am exploring the depths, so. Ooh, there's a lot more posed souls over here. Two boss mobs, nice. I'm assuming one of them was a Hinox and one of them was a Construct. Oh, I am so close to getting that, uh, the Tunic of the Depths. Do I stay here and continue getting post souls or do I move on? Because I really should get up to Death Mountain and take care of the next part. Also, I really want to know what that is. I'm assuming it's like a Zonai thing, but... Same time, I'm unsure. Oh, I only need twelve more pole souls. Ah, okay. So instead of a Henox, it was a it was a battle talus. <laughs> Which the ba battle taluses are fun to fight. Ow. Okay. Uh, you know Knights Halberd. I was not there. Yeah, battle talus are fun, but they are definitely difficult. Those rocks can just do a ton of damage um, at the start. Just nine more pole souls and then I can get... <sighs> I shouldn't be here. Should be doing Death Mountain. What's over here? And I, I know specifically like, you can do, I can do whatever I, I technically want to do. 
Um, it's, it's less of I have to do Death Mountain and more of considering I've only been able to stream like Thursday through Sunday um, so far. It, it's kind of just... Yeah, I, I, I've had less time to be able to play this game, so... I'm just talking now. Yes. The ca the counter to walking underneath it is it crushing you? <laughs> uh, a lot of the Zalfos. Talbert. Oh, throwing spear. Oh, I don't have a weapon. Give me the throwing spear. Nice, Tulin. That is not what I wanted to do. Light emitter is oh yeah a light root is, uh, is under every shrine yes and I I find that extremely cool oh must have gotten the uh, this from the enemies here those arrows how plentiful is a uh, zonite um I'd say pretty plentiful like I, I know that a, a good amount of people who have played this game like from the things that I've seen they have like several um batteries Um, and I've gotten two extra batteries, and I still have 324 Zonites and 14 large Zonites after doing all that. Um, so, I haven't really had any troubles necessarily with zonites and when you fight enemies in the depths they drop zonites as well so i i would i would say zonite is pretty plentiful uh if you're looking for like energy cells and all that uh shoot i all i need is nine more pose and then i can get the tunic of the depths Now, cores, I haven't really used cores all that much. Maybe they act like uh, ancient arrows in, from Breath of the Wild. I, I just haven't really used them all that much. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Instead of risking the gloom. But 
but thankfully light roots dispel any gloom that you have so it's another reason oh there's a whole ton of, of pose over here definitely do not want to encounter that frogs yet though Okay, I now have enough to get Tunic of the Depths. Let's see, that looks like some Boca Blends. Oh, and there's a Light Root right there, so I might as well go ahead and get that Light Root as well. Oh, there's the Lizalfos. This ruby spear is really good. Or ruby hammer. Ruby sword. Yeah, and, and that that is still a an issue in this game, but they do they do give a good amount of just items to fuse so then it's not always just you know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was because I never necessarily had an issue with things breaking so much. Like the only time that I've I've necessarily had thing had an issue with things breaking in this game so far has been like if I'm excavating. Um, Because I, I haven't found a whole bunch of bomb flowers, so I don't want to use all of my bomb flowers while doing stuff. But, um... Yeah, go, going through caves and all that uh, and having to use up your rock items ha has, has probably been the, uh, the part that I've hated the worst. Because, it, again, I've never really had an issue with uh, the durability of weapons. But that being said, they they have made it so. Um... Yeah, let me go ahead and get this light route, and then I'll maybe I'll leave and maybe try and head up to uh, Death Mountain and try and continue the main quest. Net and night light roots. <laughs> yeah, taking away the bombs was definitely a good. <laughs> was definitely a, a thought on their end to make it a little more difficult for uh, players, but. There we go. Oh wait, no, let me go back to the Poe statue that's over here. Oh my gosh, yeah, that, that Bargainer statue is all the way over there in like Lanayru. Or um, Heto? No. Oh. Hateno Village. That's what it is. Enemy health pools? Do you mean enemy health pools or pulls? Wait, where am I going? There. Oh yeah, right over there. 
Yeah, I haven't really seen a natural weapon that is above 10. Other than bows. But like most just regular weapons without the uh, things on them have, have generally been lower than 10. Okay, health pools, okay. I haven't really noticed, well, I guess with the battle tal or with the taluses, they seem a little lower. <laughs> Tunic of the Depths. I have returned the lost spirits to the afterlife. Yeah, and I already. I wonder if getting another dark tunic will do anything. And then if I've, yeah, if, if I find another Poe statue, then I can uh, do further things with it. Okay, but. Why do I have that pinned? Is that a tower? Well, since, since all of this is so close together, I'll just go ahead to the lookout landing. Yeah. Okay, so, so it's not just me having an issue with finding rupees. Yeah, rupees are very hard to come across. Although they do have the um, the guy that's by the uh, things that uh, to create the carts and all that. Uh, and he always gives you 20 rupees for holding up the sign so he can build uh, the sign up properly. So that is a good way to um, get some rupees. And then, yeah, gem gems and luminous rocks luminous stones are um pretty good to sell come on epina i want to talk to this guy real quick and then he head to death mountain What do you got? Uh, I guess I could take some of these. But I'm good for now. The entire Hylian set at once. Oh, you mean in Lookout Landing? Yeah, I haven't even purchased the, uh, per- Ooh, jeez. I haven't even purchased that yet. Oh, yeah, and then Hestu is, um, in Lookout Landing as well. I don't re I don't know when he shows up. Yeah, 130, 120, and 70. Oh! That's 200 right there, and then 120. I could actually afford most of this. And then I could just sell something and get the rest of it. Sure. Um... And then I guess I'll get the Hylian trousers because the tunics have been pretty good so far. While the legs have really just been like armor and all that, so. Yeah. Yeah. Although, uh, with the Great Fairies, uh, apparently the Great Fairies increased the armor as well. I don't know how they increased the armor just yet. Um, 
But I do know that they increase the armor. Okay, so what? Oh, it's on the other side, so I can't see it. Um, so let's see here. I need to go up here. So, yeah, going this way is probably the best. And I think I have... So then what's this? Is that just... No, this is a shrine. Okay, that's a shrine. This is the tower. Well, I, I met the great fairies in um, Breath of the Wild. And I've I found one great fairy uh, on the way to Rito Village. Um, I believe it was... Yeah, the great fairy was like around here. Um, actually... Might as well go ahead and mark it so I don't forget. Um... Yeah, and the Great Fairy is over here, but apparently you need to find um, a music group that'll come back to Snowfield Stable, and then she will talk to you. So, so yeah, I, I've I met all of the same thing as last time. Okay. Yeah, and then there's that tower. Um, okay, well, yeah, if I want to go to Lanayru, I have to go this way. If I want to get to... Maybe I'll go up this way and uh, see if I can get into here and then go up. To, although I do also... Oh, yeah, also. Well, that that's just weaker. I don't know. Uh, sword by set. There we go. Thank you. Although I can put on the hood, and then I'm not just going around with a headdress, so. And I'm not climbing currently, so I might as well just take the soldier's armor. Ooh, another one of these. Cool. Interesting, okay. That should be pretty easy to take care of. Yes, yes, I know. Um. That should hold. That's not going to hold. go your first hearty item oh you mean like hearty truffles hearty truffles are pretty common in the caves Energizing veggie rice balls and a puff shroom. Yeah, hearty, hearty mushrooms offer a lot of hearts. Okay. So let's see here. 
Yeah, okay, so that that's a shrine over there. And then go up this way. Oh, is that a battle talus? Yes, that is a battle talus. You know what? Wait, do I have any weapons I can attach the talus to? A sturdy long stick, which I guess I can use as a... As a pretty good spear. Eh, no, I don't want to... I know I can get gems from them, but... That is true. Oh, I don't have a bow. Whoops. Well, there's all a bow. Oh, sorry, Epina. Oh, that's a blue moblin, I think. Enox hammer. Really, I can't carry anything else. Yes. And I, I think that was intentional be, uh, because they removed uh, the elemental arrows. So now the only trouble you'll have is just ha finding the materials to do things. Because I have like, yeah, 355 arrows and I use arrows pretty frequently. Okay, so there's a shrine over there. So then what's that? What did I see over there? Is it another shrine? What the? What? What is that? Hold on. <laughs> What now? Okay, well, I'm going to need the gloom tunic. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. Go in water. the fuck was that? I have never seen that before. Whew, okay. Good to know. Seared steak, blackened crab. Okay, so if there is pink mist around it, avoid it.
Okay. Well, that was terrifying. Okay, you can just wait. Okay, seriously, I want to know what I saw over there. Maybe I was aiming for something else and then that's what I tagged. Oh, treasure chest. Ah, bright bloom seeds. Yeah, I, th I think that's all that was, was I just was aiming for something else. I think I was aiming for th that shrine. And I, I hit the rocks over here. Okay. So remove this. I've been chasing something that I didn't even need to get to. Okay. Well, after that horrifying display. I want to fight one of those things eventually, but probably should do it on a horse. And probably should have more hearts. Come on, Epina. I can never get on you while you're doing that. Ah, uh, I don't know if my heart skipped a beat, but it definitely, <laughs> definitely jumped. Okay, I believe the shrine was over here, right? Hold on, I just saw the shrine and then I lost it. Where is it? Is it over here? There it is. Okay, well, let's do this shrine then. Sepapa Shrine. I had just never seen, uh, seen those uh, arm things before. And at first, I, th I thought it was like another entrance opening up uh, when you when you approach it, and then you can fall down into the depths from there. That's what I thought it was. And then the arms came out, and I'm like, oh, God, Ganon. Backtrack. Okay, so this is going to be a recall. I'm going to need a torch. I could see them being around, uh, around the castle. I mean, either way, it's still pretty trippy. Uh, Oh, 
Wait, is it going into the water? It totally is. This might be too far. Oh no, okay. Oh, is it me burning up? That's what it is, okay. Are there any treasure chests in here? Yes. Aha! Thank you. And honestly, I would have been fine fighting the uh, multiple armed creature thing if it wasn't for the fact that, like, <laughs> it was doing a lot of gloom damage. And I only have seven hearts. On top of that, I, I couldn't really do much. Is that all the... Okay, yeah, that's all the treasure chests. I really should just carry a torch around everywhere. Torches are pretty useful. Hmm. Yes, very much it caught me off guard. <laughs> Ah, I see, I see what needs to happen. Okay. So then that goes in there and that'll open the second one. Yep. Can I actually reach it from here? Oh, I totally can. Recall has a really long reach. Okay. I really need to try and get to <laughs> Death Mountain today. Because on, to on top of just continuing the main story and actually getting a, a lot more of this done, it also gets me another heart and probably gets me another ability too. Probably like a defending ability or something similar. Maybe like a pet, no, hmm. I don't actually know what uh, would take over for uh, the Goron ability. You better not strike my horse. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get shot with electricity, aren't I? Is that a great fairy? Or is that the damn hands again? I don't know. Helmhead Bridge. Oh yeah, and also the tower for this area is up here. Why is the 
Oh, so this is the tower. That is the tower for this place. Okay. No guy there. A boulder. Oh, those are horses. I thought that was a boat. Sorry, up enough. Is it these two again? Oh, it is. Oh, and there's a treasure chest. I've almost figured it out. Just a bit more brainstorming and... Hmm. Oh. You got this, Doc. That... <laughs> What's up, Doc? That treasure is as good as ours. Hang on a sec, person. Hey, you! We're having a private conversation here. Uh, huh? When are you... How long have you been there? Huh. We found that chest first. It's ours. I mean, it's in a bottomless bog of certain doom with no place to pit, put your feet, so you probably can't get to it anyway. But any hidden treasure that's maybe certainly definitely in there is ours. Uh? Press and cut it out. Sorry, Doc. It just slipped out. Uh, Yeesh. I need to think about how to get that treasure, so do your job and keep watch, got it? As you can see, we're working here, so buzz off. Okay. It's a bog. Oh, come on. Nope, come on. There we go. <laughs> Fuck. How did I fall so quickly? Oh, it just puts me right back here. Oh, shit. Um. No, come on. Maybe I can push it back a little bit more. I'm just gonna keep drowning. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm gonna get the treasure. There we go. Three bomb flowers. That's pretty good. Oh, jeez. Okay. I've almost got it. Almost. Maybe we can get the treasure chest if we... Huh? <laughs> hey, Prison, where did the treasure go? Ah. The treasure? Oh, the treasure. Oh, that guy took it. Huh? What? Weren't you keeping watch? Huh. I mean, yeah, I had to squint through the rain, but my gaze never once left, that bo left the bog. That guy took it. I was watching him the whole time. Uh. You gotta tell me these things. Keeping watch means you have to do more than just watch. Hmm. Oh well, can't get them all. No use crying about it. You know, you're pretty good. Almost as good as us at hunting treasure. Uh. Huh? You're a treasure hunter too. Are you also going after Misko's treasure? Uh. Prison? Hush! Uh, sorry, just, just ignore him. Misko's treasure? So much for the just ignore him, Gambit. There's no way you're also a treasure hunter if you don't know about Misko's treasure, so we can tell you a little. Misko was one of the greatest bandits Hyrule ever saw, and not just a bandit. 
They were also a fashionista. Rumor has it, Misko's renowned clothing collection is hidden somewhere in Hyrule. We think the clothes are hidden in caves that appeared during the upheaval. Like up ahead in the Elden region. You couldn't really explore back when Death Mountain was erupting. But now everything's cooled down and the place is all rocky, ro rocky and r rocked. <laughs> rocky and rugged. There are probably tons of secret caves perfect for hiding treasure. <laughs> Prison, what are you doing? <laughs> um, oops. Definitely forget he said anything. Yep, I definitely forgot. Can't I search these? Oh, okay, I have to search the fronts. Opal! Ooh, Epina, your hair is being a little weird. Okay, so there's a stable over there. Which I'll probably want to go to. And there's a well. Raru Settlement Ruins. Oh, we're in the bog. Um. Whew. Oh, jeez. Yeah, th this is just a whole bunch of bright, bright bloom seeds. And a luminous stone. Okay, cool. I got it. Okay, that's still there. Just cleared out the first boss Bokoblin camp and found the lunatic person who likes the blood moon too much. I haven't seen that actually. Oh wait, what am I doing? I can just ascend. Uh... Money seeds, yeah. That is true. If I, if I have anything in too much excess, I could always sell it and be able to uh, get more. But yeah, I haven't done the Blood Moon Lunatic. What is that? Oh, it's a silent princess. Dedicate this monument to the memory of the souls lost to the calamity. Oh, and that's a... That is a moblin. There we go. Straight left of lookout landing on a hill. Hmm. Interesting. I'll have to take a look at that. Whoa! Okay. Soldier's broadsword enables quicker charge attacks. Um... I guess I could drop the Knight's Halberd. It's it's almost done anyways. Spicy pepper. Um, switch. I guess to the Flame Emitter Club for now. Okay, but yeah, there's... Hey, wolves! Ah. 
horses, boar, stable. Sitting out this early, are we? I take it you're also headed to Goron City. This may be an odd warning, but do try to watch out for Gorons with strange rocks. Also, there's a restaurant up this mountain path toward the city. I pointed a traveler in that direction quite some time ago, but there's been no sign of them coming back. It's hard not to imagine they've gotten into some sort of trouble. So just try to give a wide berth to any Gorons you might see with strange rocks. Strange rocks? The Gorons are typically so gentle and hardworking. But lately it seems the young ones have stopped working altogether. And some are even playing tricks on travelers. I met one injured traveler who told me that the Gorons in question all carried strange rocks. I don't really know what this all means. But it's the duty of a stable to keep its guests safe. So I can't help but worry. Oh, hey, these are the musicians. All right, am I going to it all one more time just to make sure I have all the details correct? What happened that night when the great fairy hid herself away? Okay, so yeah, th that was the great fairy. <laughs> well, we had our accident here one awful night sometime after the upheaval. We saw the great fairy nearby vanish from view. It was troubling somehow. We got in our wagon to go to, to her. That's when it happened. Frightful, the whole thing. That's when the woman with blonde hair jumped out in front of us. Our horse bolted away. Off it ran into the night. But the real tragedy, that involved one of the most crucial members of our troop. Our beloved Breezer. Some of... <coughs> Jeez. Oh. Some of its wheels broke, and now we can't even transport our instruments to performances. Or us. At least no one was hurt. But since that night, the green, the, the, the green fairy, the great fairy has been hiding in her bud. She seems afraid of something. It was that woman, I tell you. She did something to the great fairy. She's a villain twice over. She left the scene of our tragic accident without so much as an apology. Whatever reasons the Great Fairy has for hiding herself away, we thought a performance would cheer her up. But with Breezer broken down, we can't transport our small troop or our instruments there. And the one who caused all this was a blonde haired woman, you say? Hmm, could that have been? Ah. Oh, hello there, partner. I didn't know you were out this way. You have perfect time, though. Sorry to spring this on you so suddenly, but we've got work to do. These fine musicians here were just telling me an interesting tale. Apparently, the great fairy who lives near the stable has shut herself away in her flower bud. Why, you ask? Well, it seems to have something to do with a mysterious blonde-haired woman. Mm. My reporter instincts are calling out. Could the mystery woman be her? Could she be Princess Zelda? Ah. Of course, we can't put anything to print until we're sure it's true, so we have to talk to the great fairy first. Huh. Great fairy? Ha! Huh. Asking all the right questions. Good instincts, kid. You'll make a decent reporter yet. I know what it is, but... Oh. Look way up those hills. See that big plant in the distance? The one that's spouting that pretty stuff? That right there is the flower bud where the great fairy lives. They say she really likes this musical troupe, and that's why she moved near the stable recently. Great fairy who loves this troupe's music performances? That alone is something worth looking into. We mustn't forget that the Great Fairy bestows protective blessings on travelers. Her presence is essential to the stable. I do hope we can help her soon. If only we had a way to reach her. But Breezer is broken down and we don't go anywhere without it. Not to mention our horse is gone. We're stuck here. Okay, well that's easy enough. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. Mm 
Okay. I'll take you. I can't believe it. Violin, he's made some sort of change to Frieza. We may be able to uh, be on our way now. Quick, let's get in. We wouldn't want to be left behind. Huh? No way. Just up the hill. So do I have to take them then? So I need to get my towing harness. Right, I can get a reward. Uh, receive reward. Melania bed. Not only will you wake up more energized, you may also share a mystical message. It's a very popular choice among our customers. If you save up just two more points, Oh, you'll be able to register one additional horse. We appreciate your patronage. Oh yeah, Star Fragment. I chased one down earlier. Uh, okay, so I cannot equip Epina. Okay. Take horse. Uh, I am surprised that Finn cannot pull, being such a big damn horse. Okay, I'll take Goldie, sure. Then I need to outfit her. Towing harness. Okay, so how am I supposed to do this effectively? Oh, I bet I'm supposed to ask them to get out, attach, <laughs> attach the cart. Yeah, that, that, I think that's what it's supposed to be. Okay. Oh, that's... Damn it. Yes, 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 I know. Let's start over. Okay. I bet you're going to have to do this for ev each one of the great fairies. Um, okay, first off, move this damn rock. Oh, it's backwards. There we go. I'll take you. Okay, so now they're in the stable. It is connected. Cool, this is the first time I'm tra transporting something. Like this. Okay, there's a stable there. There's a tower here. Or not a stable, a shrine. Oh, 
or maybe after doing this, uh, these two will go back to the stable in the snow area and then just be done, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to go too fast. I don't I don't know how fast I can or cannot go, so. Thank you. We can take it from here. All right, Mastro. Lead us into the performance. My little troop must play with all the heart we can for the great fairy. Is it only two people? I feel like a troop should have more than two people. I thought, I thought Puda gave you uh, the camera and the compendium. Uh -huh. Yeah, I have the camera and the compendium. Behold, Violet! The great fairy graces us with her presence! Ah. Truly divine! Oh. Well, look at this! You really helped out here, partner! I flew here as fast as I could when I saw the boat opening up. Are we gonna talk to the great fairy? So this is a great fairy! Oh. Ah. I couldn't resist coming out to bask in your beautiful music. Now that I'm outside, I see that the world is not at all how Princess Zelda described it to me. She warned me that an awful gloom was spreading over the land and that the world would soon be lost to monsters. I hid myself away, mm. but now that I look back on it, while Princess Zelda was speaking to me, I had the feeling something wasn't right. In the deep dark of that night, I couldn't see her face clearly. Maybe it was someone else entirely. So she looked like Princess Zelda, but wasn't Princess Zelda. I don't like the sound of that at all. I think our reporting work might be taking a darker turn here. On the bright side, the Great Fairy is out of hiding, and that's a big scoop. Got to take wing and get this news written up for the newspaper. Mm. We've worked together to chase two of the stories relating to Princess Zelda. Go on and add this to your nest egg, partner. Ooh, purple rupee. Oh, there's also this. It's from Tracy. Lucky Clover Gazette fabric. Tough fabric bearing a Lucky Clover Gazette design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Oh, and that, that requires me to have to go to Hateno Village. So Hateno Village's dye shop in the Cluda has started up a new service. It has something to do with fabrics. I know, I know. I'm basically giving you an extra job by handing over this fabric. But still point is that by accepting and making use of it, you can show that you're officially part of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Mm. Wouldn't be nice if Tracy handled things a bit more simply, though. Anyway, that's all done. It's always great working with you, partner. Okay, I'm going to take this story and head back. This article will keep readers hanging on to every ah. word. So long! Mm. Mastro, I thought... The rest of our musicians left the troupe because they didn't like how I played my violin. <laughs> violin? That wasn't it at all. Why, you moved the heart of the great fairy herself with your violin. Your playing is impeccable. <laughs> I guess I really did do that, didn't I? I've heard the other great fairies also are hiding away in their butts. I bet if you, I mean we, play music for them, that cheer them up too. A brilliant idea! And you know what that calls for? Reuniting a troop! The Stable Trotters! <laughs> Thank you for helping us get here. It means a lot to me. We're a troop of two for now, but oh you just wait. I just know we'll get the other musicians back with us somehow. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> no, 
Now that that's decided, we should get ready for our journey, Violin. Let's hurry to the other grid fairies and bring them out of hiding. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. That peaked the mic. Huh? I was about to return to my spring in its sweet serenity when I heard those two mention my sisters. There are four of us across the land, you know. Mm -hmm. You will find my sisters in their flower buds. They're as scared as I was went to come out of hiding. Oh, and she marks them. Misha is near the stable in Hebra. Kesa is near a stable in Hyrule Field. Kotera is near the stable in West Nakluda. Also, they don't make it so then, like, the Great Fairy is all the way out in the Gerudo Desert, so. Oh. I've been worried about our safety, but after hearing the musical troupe, I feel much better. May I ask, if you find the other buds, could you talk to my sisters? Oh, and while you're here, how about I enhance your clothes mm -hmm. for you? With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Enhance away. Oh. Right, enhancing the, yeah, enhancing the items takes money and materials. That's right. Um, ooh, seven. And I can do this. Climbing gear might be good to do as well. Miner's top. Oh, you didn't need money before? It's been so long since I last pl uh, played Breath of the Wild. I, I just forget things. Also, is there anything... Like, does upgrading them at some point give the ability to get bonus effects with them? Yeah, it's more it's more harsh on the wallet. But to be fair, it, it does look like it's only 10 so far for each one, so. Mm. Mm. Let's just go ahead and do the knights mm. stuff. And it looks like you can do multiple uh, levels on each of the things. A great fairy increased its defense by one level. Yeah. Uh -huh. A resourceful hero like you should, surely wants to unlock even greater potential, yes. Some sets, if you enhance each part of the set twice, will give you a special bonus when you wear them. I knew it. Not every set, mind you, but some. Oh. What about the others? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then yeah, you can. En it seems like you can enhance enhance the levels up to four after getting all of the great fairies. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and oh. do the knights greaves as well, just so then I have a whole bunch of defense. For any resistance clothes. Yeah. Anything uh, else I want to do? Maybe the climbing gear? I wonder if doing the miner's top eventually would allow me to do... Hmm. I have so many, um, I have so many miners tops. Um, yeah, and then these three you cannot enhance, including the dark tunic. Um, I will also do the climbing mm -hmm. gear because I use the climbing gear a lot, oh. so. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Aww. It seems my little sisters are still secluding themselves in their flower buds in distress. If you see a giant flower bud as you journey through Hyrule, please play lovely music for them too. Mm. My little sister Misha said she was going to a stable in Hebra in the northwest. Well then, I'm headed home. Aww. See you later. Cool. Okay. Okay, so first off... Wait, where'd my horse go? Did you take my horse? You better not have taken my fucking horse. I swear to God. You better not have taken Goldie. I, oh yeah, ascend. I'm, I continuously forget that I have ascend available, and I cannot reach it. Never mind. Wait. Nope. Okay. Uh, let me get the shrine first, just so then I can teleport around if I need to. A coach you shrine. Better not have taken Goldie, I swear to God. I swear to God. Rise and fall. Okay. Also, okay, so there is a treasure chest in here. Um, okay, no. Yeah, I cannot get there fast enough. So there's got to be something I can do to press the button while I'm over here. It's not recall, so I can't just press the button. Can I push the button? Nope. Uh, that's all I can do. I wonder if it wants me to use a weapon. Or maybe. No, that doesn't do anything. Oh, I'm an idiot. Press the button, let it fall. Recall. There we go. Okay, so a box. An endless pit for a waterfall. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. There we go. Zonite shield. Um, lowers the energy consumption of an attached Zonite device. I already have one. 
You know what? I'll drop the Liz uh, Lizal shield. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted. I think if I drop this, it'll reset. Yeah. What pushes it off? Huh. Okay, um... Is that all the treasure chests? Yes, okay. Okay, so what does this do? That shoves it that way. Okay. I, I mean, this is just... Fairly certain this is just... Same thing. the button. We'll bounce up. And there we go. And I think this will be four. So I can upgrade my stamina or my health if I need to or want to. I'm going to do it. Just need to figure out what I want to boost up. Oh no, I'm a three. I thought I was at four. Oh well. Oh, I thought I was at three, not, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, so I believe, well now I, I can go back to Hebra and maybe, oh. Cool. Need to remember recall a lot more often. Ooh, three rockets. That's good. Okay, so first off, I want to check and see if Goldie, if I still have Goldie. Because I swear to God, if I lost Goldie, what's that? Okay, I still have Goldie. Thank goodness. Mm. Ah, this is quite the outfit you've put together. Although perhaps it could be a little more um, coordinated. That is, a complete set would really work for you. Sorry, my eye for fashion can't help but see what it sees. I'm forever tempted by the latest styles. The same is true for my boyfriend. <coughs> oh god. Fun fact, rocket plus shield, fuse equals bull- yep. Yeah, it just shoots you up. Two of us were going to go around the city to buy their trendy fire-resistant clothes. Aww. But when we were about to arrive, we got tangled up with some Gorons with strange-looking rocks. I got scared and came back on my own. If you're going to Goron City, then you should be very careful. How's a guy supposed to pick a path to Death Mountain? A trek up a mountain should be a red-hot adventure. If I had a balloon like the one on the other side of the pond, that, that spice things up a bit. Fat chance of that, though. What's that? Did the fiery passion of my monologue catch your ear? Well, red hot is as red hot does, my friend. Oh. So a while back, Death Mountain was super active. We're talking full force, non-stop red hot lava. 
But now the lava's all cooled down and hardened. It's even, uh, I hate to say it, made a new road that's easy to walk. And ease, my friend, is the opposite of the red-hot lifestyle. Now the route going up Death Mountain from Foothill Stable to the east, on the other hand. That's an old, dangerous road absolutely crawling with monsters. That's what I call red hot. But, uh, my muscles aren't exactly ready to take the heat right now, so that makes my decision more complicated. Hey, puppy. Give me that arrow. And then goats. Oh. Give me them rupees. Sending the bloopy or the bubble is sending me here. Is this where I exchange the bubbles? I hope he's okay. You there, traveler! Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right right now it's Big Brother Huh. So yeah, it's the bubble guy. It's no use. Colton. Please, it's impossible. Absurd even. To try to turn yourself into a legendary creature, a Satori no less. Absurd! You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like that. <laughs> I will never give up, Skilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on a bubble gem, then I'm sure to turn into a Satori. And the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called a bubble frog, and it glows just like a Satori. Gah, but I didn't think it would be so high up on the wall and run up, run up out all nimbly bimbly like that. In that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yes, yes. Do you remember all that treasure you collected? You could offer that in trade. Traveler, did you hear me and my big brother talking? If I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. Gah, but the bubble frog is so nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. What is your dream? You want to hear about my dream? Well, it's simple, really. I dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of a myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Sorry if I'm peeking the mic at all. When I do these kind of voices, I kind of have to be a little loud. Piercing eyes, bluish white fur. Ooh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. And then I read these ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself, transform me, Colton, into a Satori. For it to work, I must find the bubble frog, a strange creature that lives dark cave, that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a Satori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bobble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on the gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gamble about, gamble about like that? So nimbly bimbly. I want to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I'll do whatever it takes. Bah, I'm, I'm sorry. But that is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such doings. So if you get hold of a bubble gem, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure in trade, I swear. Here, take this. That's a bubble gem. Colton, is it the real thing? That perfect shape and that faint blue glow. It's a real bubble gem, real as can be. You did it! Now I can transform into Satori just like the ones I adore. Thank you so very much. Please take this gifty in return. Ooh, Boko Blin mask. Kilton's handmade Boko Blin headgear. It's almost charming in a cute, monstrous kind of way. Grip it to blend in with Boko Blins. 
See, I collect all sorts of monstrous treasures. That is, monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. The mask I gave you was made to look just like a Poco Blend, so, mu so much so that even a Poco Blend would take you for one. By all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have the body and the heart of a Poco Blend. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the bubble gem. Hold on, I'm tying my hair up a little bit better. Okay. Cheers and bottoms up. It isn't changing, but but I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. It can only mean one thing. I'm on my way to become a Satori, and that means more. I need more of them. And I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, that'll never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. And to do that, Kilton, big brother, I have decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. I see. Well, it seems you made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. I hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Big brother, thank you, thank you. Traveler, I am grateful for your help, but I've decided to set out on a journey to collect bubble gems. I have s I have so many. Next time you get your fingers on a bubble gem, please, please do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty for my collection of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we meet again sometime somewhere. Please don't, please tell me you don't leave. I have so many more. Damn it. Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Now, I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown in Nakala. But, dear traveler, thank you so much for helping my little brother. And though I hate to impose, I do hope that during your travels, you'll find time to assist him further. I will keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts, so visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. So I can't talk to him about the monster parts and the Colton... I, mm. oh, well, at least I got a vocal bun mask. Discovery, Pico Pond Cave, which I'm sure, yeah, just, just has some things to, uh, to take out and there we go. Oh, my throat. By the way, um, as a suggestion, I'm sure you already know this, but... Ooh, fireproof lizard. This rare lizard can only be found in the Elden region. Its scales have heat-resistant properties, so when cooked with monster parts, Produces a fire-resistant elixir. But, um... If you can, try and use boulders instead of rocks uh, when making the uh, hammers that you need. Because boulders last for so much longer than rocks. And I think it actually increases the weapon's durability by a lot more if you use a boulder instead of a rock, so. Just a good thing to do. Okay, so. The tower is over that way. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's the tower. Puppy, puppy. Oh. Okay. Great fairy flees into flower, bud.
Other stories. Oh. Matriarch revitalizes Kakariko village. Zonai survey team's eyes turn to its ring ruins. Latest tourist destination is interest in the ring ruins keeps on growing. Nekluda. And that's that's where the ring garland is being sold. Good luck to those in love. Okay. 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 Okay, well, I guess time to take uh, a horse up. You know what? Let's take Zelda. Should be the ro royal saddle. Yep. Okay. Cool. You are so shiny. Okay. So, looks like I might. Yeah, I, th I think this will take me up this way and then up to Elden. Which means that, yeah, I, c I can probably take care of that, uh, of the tower on the way there and unlock more of the space. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I heard, heard some great info on Bisco's treasure. Hmm? And it looks like you overheard me. Perfect. This is so juicy, I've got to share. You've heard of Bisco's treasure. You've heard of Bisco's treasure, the famous bandit's huge clothing collection, hidden caves all through just a thought. Oh. It's caves bursting with lava. caves across Elden, but those caves are white hot with bubbling lava. Okay. Okay. So I guess I want to go this way. Also, what is, what is that up there? I might want to take them out. Oh. Finding geoglyphs. Oh. Two geoglyphs in Elden. First is supposedly on the south side of the mountain, which is to say nearby. The other one I'm told is on the northwest northwest side of the mountain range near the Tyth Thyflo ruins, so, okay. Sadly, my search for the geoglyph in this area has come up empty. Both I'd, I'd have better luck if I climbed the hill and peered down from its summit. Yes, probably. How does horse be gold? Um, so this is Zelda's horse, supposedly, and, um, oh, that's a Hinox. Hmm. And um, you do a mission trying to find Princess Zelda that allows you to have that horse. So, so it, it's the horse that's gold. It's not anything added to it that makes it gold. You know what? Sure, let's take down a Hinox.
love that. Give me those items. Hell yeah. Korok. There's the tower, so. Hmm. Oh, that's not a Korok. This is uh, fire fruit. Okay. Yeah. Still good to have. Okay, so that guy said that there was a geoglyph around here somewhere. Oh, well, let's check the compendium. No, uh, not the compendium, the album. That's right. Let's see here. Okay. So it looks like uh, this device that I have, the tablet, and it, yeah, it, it's somewhere in this area. Oh. Winged statue. Oh, there's another uh, sign thing. This is definitely not the way to go to uh, get to uh, the tower or uh, the volcano. So I'm going to have to turn back around and go up that way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so... Ooh, there's a lot of stuff around here. Okay. So what do you need? Okay. This will be pretty easy. Let's grab one of these. Another one of these. Come, come, come on. There we go. This might be a little too big. Okay. And then take one of these. There we go. What? It didn't fall. Uh, maybe I put, maybe I had it too high. Sure, whatever. Don't see how that's any different from what I did, but sure. Red rupee. 
Chili veggie rice balls. Heat resistance, yes. And a puff shroom. Right, I, I need to use more materials and see what all it makes. Okay. No, I didn't want to stop you, uh, okay. Oh, did I already talk to you? Yeah, okay. Nope, come on. Come on, let's go up this way and kind of just cut through. I wish I hadn't named the other horse I have Goldie, and then this one could have been Goldie. I guess I could have had two Goldies, but... Eh. Okay. be easier to climb to get this tower from here maybe oh and if I'm gonna do that might as well get the climbing gear done hold on hold what is that from? Looked like a spine or something. Ooh. Hell yeah. Sunshroom. Uh, do I have an axe? I do not have an axe. Should find an axe at some point, though. Okay. So for now, let's just climb up here, get this tower. Yeah, what are these? Are they are they supposed to be like bones or something? Can't identify them. Hmm. Okay. Hi, Wolf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arr yourself. What's up here? Nothing. No, don't shoot the wolf, Tulin. I mean, if you do, at least tell me. Oh, there was a firewing butterfly or whatever. Hey. 
Elden Canyon Skyview Tower. Huh? Did you come out to see the Skyview Tower? Sorry, everything around here is a bit of a mess. A mess? A big chunk of old ruins fell from the sky and hit the Skyview Tower. It knocked off the lid that covers the hole at the top of the tower. That means the hole at the top is open, and that's not all. After the impact, the door got stuck too. Let's see, maybe if you use the terminal inside, that would force the door back open. But without a way to get inside, we're kind of stuck. Interesting. Okay, can't recall and can't move that, so. Ooh, perfect timing. Okay. Zonite Spear. Uh, I'll drop the sturdy long stick, sure. Uh, here we go. And what does this treasure chest have? Zonite longsword. I. Uh, um. Guess I'll drop the traveler's sword. Cause why not? And now I need to jump into the tower. There we go. Oh. Ooh, I was right. Using the terminal did open the door. Thank you. That was a big help. Ah. Now then, I think I'll take a little break before heading to my next job. Okay, good to know. Oh, there's a hole right there. Surface map updated. Oh, hey, look, there's two, uh, two little lizards on the map. Sky map updated as well. Should be something to the right of me. And mi might be too... Oh no, it's right there.
Castle Fruits. So I guess that's that's just a free battery. Where does this go? Nowhere. Oh. Well, there's something there. Okay, never mind. Seem like there's anything else. Sundelion. So I guess just flip this thing around and head back up. Looks like it. Yep, that's just a battery. Oh, a shrine. Cool. That's pretty good heat resistance, actually, so I won't eat that. Don't fall off, please. Nice shot, Tulin. Okay. So I guess from here I just need to climb up. Do want to get these though. Could always use more fire fruits. Yeah, I guess I just climb up from here. Alrighty then, guess I'm not getting that stuff. Endura Shroom. Seems like there's something over here. Nope, it's just an area to get some more shrooms. Oh, but there is something over there. Ah, it looks like a treasure chest. Oh. 
more charges. A mushroom I missed. Oh, you can probably burn these down, actually. Let's try it. Yep, okay. Oh, and only some of them go to an opening. Sword? Sword. Did I say sword wrong or weirdly? Sage's will, the remnants of a former sage's resolve. If you gather four of them and offer them to a goddess statue, you can deepen your connection with the sages? I have no idea what that is. Sounds cool, though. Ooh, flame emitter shield. Or flame emitter. Uh, yes. There we go. Now I can just get through these easier. And it'll take up less... Uh, Sage's will. I wonder if that boosts the effectiveness of the uh, allies' abilities. That's definitely cool to find, and that means I'm going to have to look out more often in the uh, Sky Islands for treasure chests. Charge. Zone I charge. I wonder if you can do anything. Uh, I, I actually haven't really tested out the charges all that much. So I don't really know if there's anything you can do with the charges. Um, I do not have an axe. I really need to get another axe. Okay, got a whole bunch of apples. Got a whole bunch of apples. Does this just fall? Yes. Okay. So, ultra hand. Okay. 
Okay. Ooh, another one of these launchers. Which will launch me to that island after I get the, uh, the shrine. And I shall do the shrine first, actually. Codernar Cod Shrine. Elden Canyon Sky. Now this will get me up to four. Yes, it water makes the way. Does this just spit water out? Hold on. Oh, it does. Okay, so that's instant death. Oh, I can just pick this up. Can I not get it any closer? Okay. Okay, so there is a treasure here. It's right there. Ow. Okay, so I cannot climb that. So then what do I do? Do I just make like a slope with the rocks? Don't. Okay, I almost died. By type, here we go. Also, I think I just realized I've had the sound on this the entire time. Yes, I have. Good to know. Um.
I don't know if that was necessarily the way I was supposed to do that, but whatever. Okay. Okay. Rusty Claymore. Is that all the treasure? Yes, that's all the treasure chests. Okay. Yeah, okay, and they're slowly moving. Oh, jeez. I got too close. Okay, I'm going to eat something before I <laughs> before I die. Um Oh, jeez. Damn it. I feel like I'm supposed to do something different with this. Oh, you know what I can do. How much health do I have left? Four, okay. Nope, that's not, that's not right. Here we go. Jeez, that took too long. 
I need to also remember that I can use recall to hold, thi hold things in place. <clears throat> okay, so now I've got four, so I can upgrade either stamina or health if I want to. But first, let me finish off this area up here with going up to that area. Oh, well, actually, first off, Going this ooh, star fragment. Actually, you know what? Star fragment is pretty important. Oh, and there's the geoglyph too. I don't see where the star fragment went. I guess I can use this to get up there as well if I really wanted to. Where did the star fragment go? Well, I can still go to that geoglyph and get one of the dragon's tears and then just go back up to the shrine, so... There it is. All right, cutscene time. That's not a pura pad. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. You really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, 
secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. I am able to separate my spirit from my body. Raru can repel or destroy evil with his power of light. Hmm. And Sonia, she can control time. As for you, I can sense both light and time powers. Mm. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? Ultimately, the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... There are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. <laughs> so you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? Yes. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution, some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonia would be happy to help you. Oh, okay. Interesting. Kind of already figured that she had time powers. <clears throat> but the whole thing about Min uh, Mineru being able to separate her spirit and body, that's interesting. Okay, and that was the tower I was just at. Okay, well. I want to go back up to this shrine real quick. Finish this area up real quick. Let's uh, do three. Hydrant, a zonite device that gushes water when struck. According to legend, Sky Island saw water shortages long ago, but became lush and fertile thanks to this technology. Big wheel, a powered zonite device that wants to move. It's a big mean wheel that excels at tearing through environments that might challenge smaller wheels. It can handle shallow water. Big wheel and battery, a zonite device that holds concentrated zonite charge energy. Use it to provide temporary power for other zonite devices. And I know that you can... Okay, so there is one more to get here. And if you go t wherever you, uh, you can find Zonai devices, you can see 
if they have that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, did I get this thing? I don't know if I did. Okay, so what did this grant me? I guess I can go to the platform below this and see what's down there. Oh, whoops. Oh, that didn't work. I know what I need to do, but... Right, I can ascend. Keep forgetting that I can ascend. over there three batteries oh and this is this is pretty much right next to another uh, tower so I might as well just go ahead and go to that tower ooh dragon It's etched with ancient Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. Hmm. Well, then that means I need to go to Atena Village. I feel like I'm supposed to fill this thing with water. Okay. Huh, that's interesting. Oh, that's pretty much over to Lanayru. Yeah. So that's probably what's happening over at Lanayru, and you have to go up to uh, take care of it. There's a dragon up there. Maybe I need to fight the dragon? Hmm. Yeah, I'm so close to this tower, I might as well just go ahead and get the tower.
And then there's another tower just right there. Also, if I get this tower, it pretty much puts... Actually, I'm pretty much in Lanayru at that point. Yeah. Okay, well, I will go, I will go ahead and do it because it's only of benefit uh, for me to get this tower. Yeah, I'm pretty much in the Zora Domain at this point. Help me. The sludge fell upon me so suddenly. Ugh. I could wash it away if only I had some water. Uh, splash fruit. You. You saved me. Thank you. How shameful that this should happen to me. Captain of the guard at Zora's domain. Unbelievable. <clears throat> After the upheaval, that filth suddenly began falling from the sky. It sullied the waters around here in, and in Zora's domain. Everyone is at their wit's end because of it. That is why I set out to investigate the surrounding area myself. To think I would fall prey to falling sludge myself. <clears throat> Just thinking of it makes my scales bristle. <clears throat> my gills still feel so unclean. If you had not sprayed me with water, water, I shudder to think what would have happened to me. Please, take this Zora Spear as a token of my thanks. I am sorry that it is not much, but it is all I have. It decayed like all of the other weapons at the time of the upheaval, but... Well, it is not unusable, at least. Hmm? Ah, oh, you have many weapons in your possession, it would seem. If you make room in return, I will gift you this Zora Spear. Um... Whoops. Yeah, might as well drop that. Yields a high attack power when it gets wet. Interesting. Well, now I know what I what I'm going to be doing in uh in Zora's domain. Got all of this now. Lanayru Great Spring.
All right. What is this? Oh, there's an opening. Oh, it's a shrine. Interesting. Okay. Well, let me open up the shrine then. Now, I could just jump right down into Zora's domain and just open that up right now, but for one, I kind of want to do it in the order that they told me to do, which they didn't really tell me to do Goron City next, but they did hint at it. Okay, so there is a treasure chest here. Oh, is this just how I would get back to the beginning? Yes. Why climb the ladder when you can just go right up with the sand? I guess I can just fly right over, so it's not that big an issue. Okay, I see what I, uh, what I need to do. Yeah, you get the cart. Yeah, okay. You get the cart, you make the cart and the wings fly over to here. Take that up, put the wind power on it, and you pretty much make an airplane. Now, to get that, I believe it requires just taking one of the wing things and just flying over to that. Now, if I throw this off, 
Does it keep the propeller? No. Okay. 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 There we go. I don't know how to get that though. I feel like I'm supposed to use the propeller, but I don't know how to. Oh, am I gonna make it? Okay, just barely. I guess if I really wanted to, I could just pull out a propeller and then attach it to that thing and then just go.
That's gonna be tough. Having to aim where I, uh... Having to pretty much not know where I'm going and yet still... Hmm. Nope, that still didn't necessarily work. Okay, that didn't work. if this was the way they wanted us to do it, but the way I'm doing it, so. I do kind of dislike how you have to go into here to destroy fused materials. Okay. Okay, and yes, I got all the shrines here, so. Get a running start. There we go. Just go along for the ride. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, that's that shrine done. Man, I'm coming up on four hours and I feel like I've done nothing. And at the same time, I feel like I've done a lot. 
So it, since I increased my defense, I might just get um, stamina again. Drop these in. <laughs> Cart. Built to move efficiently over flat surfaces. Apply force to get it moving so long as it has a power source. Wing, fan, wing, and beam emitter. A Zonai device that shoots a light beam from its horn, inflicting damage at great range. that stop all of this? It does. <laughs> oh, if I land below it. Interesting, okay. Go back to moving. No reason not to. Except I think I now made it so then it goes off of my zonai. Or my battery. Oh, I just realized I cannot do that. Interesting. Okay. Oh, another one of these things over here. Yeah, I don't want to go to Zora's Domain just yet. And also, I kind of want to go up the river to Zora's Domain instead of just take going straight from the tower, so... Okay, yeah, I do, I do have the uh, Mineru's Council. Okay. So, I guess just go back to there. Oh, hey, meat thingy. So let's see here. With the pins, I've got this tower over here, and this tower over here. Yep. I don't know what that is. I think that might be another tower, but I'm not sure. And then that's the tower that I've got. Okay. First off, let's go over here, see what's up over here. Oh, whoops. There 
There we go. Armor shard shield. Well, it looks like that's just a sh soldier's shield. With just armor on it, so. And then a boulder hammer. Which boulder hammers are always good, so. You know what, I'll drop the spear. Okay, treasure chest. Cobble Crusher. In its former state, this hefty weapon knocked out many a foe. Decayed, it still packs a punch and is great for breaking rocks. Oh, well, for right now, I'll just drop the torch. Why not? Um. So probably can attach like a boulder or something to it, and then I, and then I have a perfect thing for uh, demolishing rocks. Okay, my horse is back over that way. So first, okay, this is up the path. Inoboko hiring. Yeah, that's up the path. Okay, I do not want to use the cobble crusher right now because, well, it's a great item to uh, do stuff with. What? I'll take these guys on. Nice shot, Tulin. Yeah, give me those roasted items. A bouncy crusher. Lazal's spear it enables quicker charge attacks. Uh, sure, soldier's broadsword. I mean, I know that this part right here is just... seems like everything around here time to get back onto my horse
And I guess I am going the wrong way to get up to uh, Goron Village. Thank you, Tolan. Okay, so which way do I need to go? Oh, I thought this was the path. That's right. So no, actually, I need to go up this way and then take it all the way up here to the Goron Hot Springs. Okay. Oh, the... And then the other one is supposedly over here to the northwest. Okay. Enemy stone taluses. Here we go. Okay, so go up this way. Oh, if I want to get to a uh, entrance, which is pretty close to, uh, sure. Let's do this first, I guess. And then I could j I always just teleport back to the shrine and then back Hell yeah. Jump down here, go to the light route, probably. <laughs> Minchie Grove. What is that? Okay, so there's a light route over there and a light route up there. Which that is the one that I wanted to go to because it's the closest one. Right? Yep. Uh, well, since I'm all the way down here now, might as well equip this. It's not as bright as I was kind of hoping, but it does. It does shine around what I'm doing, so. I'm 
Okay. So let me get these pose. And then continue heading up to the light roots. Ooh, bomb flowers. Hmm. Okay. Good. Dark clump. Have I gotten a dark clump before? And if I have, what is it? An unusual substance, it's cold to the touch, and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Okay, yeah. Ooh, it's gotten all muddy. My goodness, there are a lot of these things around here. Did I pick up the stuff I wanted? I think so. Okay. Cook light roots. <laughs> it 
Okay, I can skip this. That did not show all that much. Wow. I guess there's a light route over there. Over by whatever is falling right there. Hmm. I realize what that is that's fallen now. It's lava. So I cannot go over there to get that um, light route until I get some fireproof uh, material. Yeah, and that's just a small chunk. So, yeah, I guess I'll just, nope, just go to the uh, Ekochio Shrine, get my horse back. And then head on up to Death Mountain. I can also change my garb back. Hi, Fox. What am I doing? I can just go back to the stable, call the horse back, and then... And then just continue on from the stable. Yeah, because the, the fork... The fork in the road to get to Death Mountain is, like, right there, so... Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, and at some point, I do not want to take my horse up the path yeah this way because eventually it'll get too hot for my horses and I certainly do not want to hurt my horses Get some fire fruits. There's probably going to be a lot of fire fruits around here, so. Okay, well, I got some apples. Some apples. 
Get a good amount of wood. So many apples. Welcome back, Shadow. Just been going around doing some stuff. Is there anything up here? Oh, chest. I've just been going around oh, getting uh, shrines and uh, a couple towers. Like, I, I pretty much uh, got the tower that's right next to, uh, oh, that tower. The tower that's right next to uh, Rito, not Rito Village, uh, Zora's Domain. I got this tower right here. And now I'm pretty much on my way up um, the mountain. There's a shrine right there. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's, it's already part of it is already built here. Yeah, this will be easy. <laughs> the order of story dungeons this time is Rito, Gerudo, Goron, and then Zora. I've gotten Ru uh, Rito and then Goron. Because after the Rito, you go back to the Lookout Landing, um, and there's a Goron there talking about needing to get back to Goron City. Mm -hmm. ah! That didn't work. Okay. <laughs> and actually, I don't. I don't really know if there is like a. Um, I don't know if there actually is like an order of story dungeons too. Like, there's definitely a recommended uh, set to do, and they start with Rito, but. I was just following the order when Pura pips each one. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. There might, there could have been something over um, in like Lookout Landing that told you like, uh, like a Zora that's in Lookout Landing, but it was a Goron that was at Zora Landing, or Lookout Landing for me, so. Yes, give me more chili, reg, uh, chili veggie balls. And yeah, again, I, I don't really think that there is like a set order that you need to do. They suggest Rito first, but I, I think you can really just do them in any order that you want to do. Okay, some flint. 
probably should have used the cooking pot da that's down by the uh, the stables. Um, for right now, I don't want to use the cobble crusher yet. Because I want to find like a stone talus heart or something. I know. Thank you for the suggestion, though. Oh, hey, Garuda. Sava Sava. Sava Sava. Are you going to that Goron restaurant? Or perhaps it isn't food you hunger for. Could it be you have an appetite for me? <laughs> I'm just joking. Please, no need to look so petrified. I just tried one of their roasts, and I have to say, it wasn't what I expected. In that I expected it to be edible. What a disappointment. Anyway, I'm sorry for teasing you. Sorry. You were in the way. Shroom. At some point, I'm just going to have to pull you off to the side. And just let you be. Oh, Moblin. Oh, it's a sleep Moblin. Can't wait till I get stealth armor. But that probably requires me to get to uh, Kakariko. Which might be my uh, the next thing to do. Or maybe I'll go to Rito and then Kakariko. I don't know. Is that another Moblin? Okay, so I think what I'll do is I will sneak strike the Moblin. Damn it, I didn't want to lose the items. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's the uh, Great Fairy. Well, at the very least. Here we go. Nope. Uh, hmm. What to cook now? Give it away, give it away, give it, give it away now. Okay, attack power in cold temperatures. That's oh, geez, I got twenty-five bomb flowers. Mm. Check. Tomato mushroom stew. Oh, that requires highly in tomatoes. Fruit and mushroom mix. Okay, so if I add probably a apple and a cold uh, a sun shroom, it might grant heat resistance. Pepper. 
pepper steak. Thank you. I, I've just been collecting things as I uh, as I pass by them, so. Uh, anything else I can do? I mean, I could always just try things. Uh, but for now, I think I will just take this and chill shroom. Chili fruit and mushroom mix. Heat resistance. Okay. Um... When did I get gourmet meat? Um, let's see here. I guess I could make an elixir if I wanted to. Nope, that's speed boosting. That's fire resistant. Okay, I, I really don't have many things for that then. Okay, never mind. Okay. Um. Uh, I guess let's do two mushrooms and a raw meat. Let's see what this cooks up. <laughs> Chili meat and mushroom skewer. Cool. Okay. Actually, I want to do one more of those. And let's add a Hyrule herb, why not? <laughs> Chili steamed meat has been wrapped in fragrant leaves and steamed to preserve its moisture. And that restores six. That's really good, okay. Well, I am good with that. That gives me a good amount of heat resistance, so. Okay. Huh. Okay, well, there's some things that I can... Oh, and this is metal. So it's probably, it, it's definitely stronger than uh, wood and probably is what you can use to make a cart if you want to go up. Oh, okay, I'm starting to get to the point where I probably need to stop taking the horse up. try. No, get back here, damn it. Okay. Ah, damn it. I, can't, I keep landing on the lizards. And then they run away. Amber and some rock salts. Oh, there's some luminous stones over there. And... Oh, I bet you that's a fire ta uh, stone talus.
I am not ready to take take on a Firestone Talus. And I bet you anything that this Yep. Uh give me my Henox hammer again. This should take out these Bloom, uh, Boko Blend's pretty. Yeah. Okay, well that's gone, but I do have more Henox stuff, so if I wanted to. <laughs> Moblin Guts can be obtained from Moblins. Its odor is too pungent for normal food preparation, but stew it with some critters to make elixirs. Oh, and Tulin took out the blue Bokoblin all by himself. Very nice. Soldier's Claymore. Take the treasure chest. Lazal Blade, a basic two-handed sword once wielded by aspiring adventurers. Do I want this? Um... I guess I could drop the flame emitter club since it's almost dead anyways. Ooh, one of those guys. And I think it's a blue one too, I believe, so. Might offer more. Also, there is a shrine over there. So I might want to go over there and get the shrine. Just so then I have an easy place to teleport if I so choose to. Actually, where am I going? I am going that way. So actually, maybe I go down this way anyway. I don't know. Yes, I go down that way anyways, okay. Good to know. Oh, I believe this is a Korok, though. All pointing to here. Very true. That is very true. Yeah, it's all pointing to here. Ah. Okay, but yeah, that that shrine is on the way to where I'm going, so. Are you the same person? No. Savota. We meet again. You really want to ask me out to that restaurant, don't you? I'm going to try eating another roast at that restaurant. Hopefully this one won't be as hard to chew. 
Last time I nearly chipped a tooth. So it's the same person, interesting. down that way since this is the path I need to take I need to reach my friend where is your friend Oh, you're just down over that way. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Okay. Well, there's nothing I can really do other than just taking him over there. I mean, I guess I got these, but... It's not like I can drag him. I don't have a towing harness. Please don't hit my horse. Come on. There we go. Okay, actually, come over here, please. Thank you. Yeah, this ain't working. There's no, f there's no wheels. How am I supposed to move something without wheels? You know what? City Bedrock Bistro. Oh, so that's where the, uh... Alright, well... I guess I will just transport this person by hand. Or on, on foot. You traveled all alone? I don't recommend it for a Hylian, especially. This might sound strange coming from a Goron, but you really ought to stay away from Goron City right now. Cook, he's normally a nice fella, has been turning Hylians away from his bistro. And all the workers over at U Unoboko have been slacking off and eating these weird rocks. I heard things had gotten bad at home, so I rushed back. Turns out everything I'd been hearing was true. Oh, I think this is the guy that I talked to at Lookout Landing. Okay, well, first off, going to take this guy over since might as well. Give me those. Okay. 
All right, come on, little guy. We're almost there. I know that it didn't really roll, but... Okay, so there's just a lot of bones around here. Uh, shrine. Just in case I get booted from here, like, all the way back down or something. Just to make sure that I don't lose progress. Team a walk. Oh, it's about time. Damn it. Maybe after doing this stream I'll, or this shrine, I'll probably call it a stream there. <sighs> and then um, I need to take care of some things like uh, collecting the trash and all that. And then in about two hours, I was actually planning on streaming again. Um, and just kind of doing things from there, so. So yeah, I was gonna call it a, sh a stream for now and then be back in about two hours. Oh, cool. It, it actually resists. Oh, geez, never mind. Strong Zonite Shield. Um... Wait, how is that any better? I don't know. Now, did I? Okay, yeah, that's the only treasure. Cool. No! Oh, I probably could have grabbed it. Whoops. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let me try and throw it more that way. There we go. I almost got in there. Okay. That'll open the gates. Okay, so I've got a fan. That's it so far. Hey, Propane, how are you doing? Or, 
science. Sorry, I'm 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 so used to doing old names. I need to get better at doing that. Or not doing that. Yeah, of course I remembered. Going pretty good. How about yourself? Just been playing uh, Tears of the Kingdom for the last several times I've streamed. Actually, over the past several weeks, I've just been playing this game. Eating kebab. Sounds good. I need to eat something. I'm hungry. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay, skip. Okay. So now... How's Tears of the Kingdom? I really enjoy it. Like, I, I, I've kind of just been telling people, like, if you like uh, Breath of the Wild, this is essentially... Breath of the Wild times three, so. You will absolutely have a good time if you play this game if you liked Breath of the Wild. At least, at least I think so. Can you get down here? You are struggling. It should be Breath of the Wild 2 instead. Well, when you start playing the game, it actually makes sense um, of why it's called that. So. The marbled rock rose has showed out here. This is the last of the last. What is Unibo Code doing then? They better get on it and dig it up more pronto. Digging up marbled rock roast is your job. Come on, cut this out. Once I finish this marbled rock roast, I'm heading to Grand City to buy more. Two will go get the rupees together. Big bro, you always wanted to be part of Uniboco, and you finally got in. But now you're just sitting here munching. His eyes are red. Which definitely makes me think that marbled rock roast is something bad. Look, I'm sorry I wasted it, but asking me to bring you another marbled rock roast isn't reasonable. How about this instead? These mysterious things were only discovered after the upheaval. It looks a little strange, I know, but it's, hard, it's a hard curio to come by. Marbled rock roast is in short supply and high demand around here. Everyone wants it. I've barely been keeping up. Letting our hottest commodity go to waste is unforgivable. You can make up for it by bringing me a fresh marbled rock roast. Now get that thing out of my sight. If I was able to get some, I'd clearly have done it by now. I checked out the caves past the car tracks just like you told me. I couldn't get at anything. You know places like that are too, way too dangerous for a Hylian like me. Not my problem, and I don't want that hunk of junk. I'm not letting you off the hook till you get me a marbled rock roast. This is gonna burn, isn't it? Yes, it burns. 
Okay. Hmm. I really want to continue playing this game, but I do have things I need to get uh, get doing. Oh, I missed a Goron here. What? Here for Cook's famous cu culinary concoctions, too. Recently, I heard about a rare delicacy being offered here known as marbled rock roast. I'm told it's indescribable. I interrupt my travels to come try it, but they're fresh out. Not sure edible rocks would appeal to a Hylian, though. Too much tooth crunch. Normally, there's a menu just for Hylians, but everything's sold out on that one as well. Seems like we're both out of luck, hmm. Okay. Yeah, I really do want to continue playing, but I do have things that I need to get done before I, uh, before I, um, uh, before I call it a day today. I am planning on being back in about two hours to continue streaming, but for right now, yeah, I kind of need to go. So I'm I'm really sorry, Science, that you just got here, but I <laughs> I, I was planning on heading off right now and then coming back in two hours to stream again and continue streaming this game. So yeah. Also, uh, with uploading all these videos to my YouTube. Um, I've been trying to keep them at f about four hours each, just so then it it's like a good consistent four hour segments. So regardless, I, w I, w I would want to stop streaming here, but or stop streaming here, start a new stream, but I have things I need to do. So I'm going to stop streaming now, go take care of whatever I need to do. Um, which will hopefully just take me about two or so hours. And then I'll be back to stream, to continue streaming this game. And I'll, I'll probably go for another two hours with that. Maybe even two bunches of, uh, two time slots of four hours. So I'll maybe stream for eight hours just because I really want to finish this. I really want to play this game. Like, I, I kind of hate that I started this on stream and feel compelled to finish it on stream, but at the same time, like, I, 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 I don't know. I, I just really feel like I should finish this game on stream, so. But yeah, so. To recap, ending stream here, be back in about two or three hours. And then I could take my time time as well, and that is what I've pretty much been doing. I've I've just been exploring the world as I come by things, and then do, doing the main quest as things come by. So it's it's not like I'm like only doing the main quest and only doing uh, the things that progress the story. I, I'm doing a lot of side things. It's just. I really want to play this game, and I've only been playing this game on stream, so I can, so yeah. I just need to put in time slots so then I can play this game on stream and still keep up with the things that I'm doing. But yeah, so ending stream now, two to three hours for, uh, t for me to finish up whatever I need to do, and then I will be back in that two to three hours to continue streaming. And I'll be, I'll be continuing this game as well during that time, so. Yeah, so with that being said, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a good day or night, whichever you are experiencing. And I will see you in a couple hours. Bye.